Yes, those of you in first and second grade probably knew immediately what we're doing today because you saw these really large boxes on the table. So you came in and was like, oh yes, we're gonna do the marble painting. We're gonna do the marble painting. And yes, you're right. We will be doing the marble painting today. Yeah, woo, spirit fingers. Okay, <laughs> so here's the marbles. Here is the paint. Here's the little cups we're gonna use. And here is, of course, the big box. All right, only thing I don't have is my paper and a pencil because that's what we always start out with. We start out by writing our name on our paper. And it's, guys, it's very important this time because once you have paint on this side, you've already done your painting, there's no way you can turn it over like this and write your name because what would happen? That's right. The painting will get all over the table and be ruined, okay? So, what we want to do is write our name first. Then we're going to sit it inside of this box. I know it's a big messy, messy mess in there, but you just sit it down in there like that. And then we're going to go to the basket. Grab yourself one cup and two marbles. Let's say that again. One cup and two marbles, okay? You're gonna put those marbles in there and then you pick yourself one color at a time. Now I have the three main colors. The yellow, the red, and the blue. Now you should have really worked with these three colors before because I believe Miss Presley had you using them in science class. Who remembers why these three colors are the most important ones? That's right, because you can use these three colors to mix any other color you like, okay? So we're gonna slide that to the side right there. Now, this is how this is going to work. You pick one color, you're only going to use one color at a time, and you're only going to put three drops of paint on each marble. Let's try this. One, two, and three. Let's do it again. One, a two, and a three. Okay, and that's it. That's, that's, that's it, that's it, that's it. Then we're gonna roll them around, roll them around, roll them around. And then we're gonna bring in the box with your paper with, with your paper in there. And we're gonna roll them into there and roll your box around, roll it around, roll those marbles around. Try your best to get them to stay on the paper. It's almost like a game. How long can you get the marbles to stay? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's harder than it looks. It's harder than it looks, OMG! Ah! Okay, that may have been a little over the top, but you get the idea. You wanna roll the marbles around on the paper and that actually makes trails, a paint trail. Well, until the marbles are empty and there's no more paint on them. When that happens, you just reach in, grab them, and you can put them back in the same cup. Now, once you've done the first color, you can think about mixing colors then. But we're still only using three drops of paint on each marble, okay? Three drops on each marble. Say that with me. Three drops of paint on each marble. Great. Now, let's say we want to continue with the blue. Let's do that. I'm going to put one, two, three drops on that one. And let's say we want to get, I don't know, let's get a little crazy here. Let's put a little bit of the yellow in there too. <gasps> Why not? Let's see what happens. One, two, three. That's it, we're good. Now we're gonna roll it around. Oh no, what's happening? What's happening? Is is the color changing right before our eyes? That's not blue anymore. That's not yellow. What color is that? That's right. It's green. So 
Let's push this on out the way. Let's bring our box back and put our new paint inside and let it roll around. Roll around, roll around. Oh yeah, roll around, roll around, roll around, roll around. All right, now, after that happens, all the paint is off of them again. We can pick them back up, put them back in the same cup, if you want to use the same colors. Now, if you did, plan on using different colors and you need a different cup okay go ahead you can grab yourself another cup but make sure your marbles um are somewhat it has to be somewhat clean or you're going to end up mixing the green in with this one everybody got that so now if i tried to put this in here it's green all over here again so you might want to put that back in there Make sure all the green is off. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. All right, now you can pick it up. Most of the green is off. And when you put it in this cup, that way, a clean cup, that way you'll make sure that you're mixing the two colors that you intended to mix, all right? You may not have wanted to mix green and then red. You may have only wanted to mix red and then blue. Hey, by the way, if I did mix those two colors, what would that make? You got it, purple. Y'all are so smart, I tell you. Anyway, that is it, that's the whole project. You can mix colors, you can make colors, and you come out with a really funky looking art piece. It kinda looks like you just gotta uh, dip the brush into a bucket of paint and flung it all over the place, which is the way that Mr. Action Jackson actually got his nickname. His real name is Jackson Pollock, but he got paint and flung it everywhere and made paintings that look like this. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're doing a tribute to Mr. Action Jackson, okay? And that is pretty much it, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and have Fun. No. Oh, you're mixing colors. Look at you. What color is it going to make? Purple. Purple? Look and see. What color is that? Orange. Orange. You got it. So yellow and red makes what? Orange. You got it.